Hello super user. So in the last lesson we made these scripts that will allow you to quickly and easily put in crescendos, decrescendos, and slurs. And the last lesson was probably the hardest and most complicated thing we're going to go over in the entire course, but I really wanted to make sure that you had all the skills you needed to create any macro you wanted in Keyboard Maestro. And so this lesson we're going to back it off a bit in the complexity because oftentimes simplicity leads to faster results in finale, especially when you're doing these macros where the goal is literally to be as fast as possible. And more specifically, we're really going to look at one of the last ways that you can really hook up native finale with Keyboard Maestro to get a lot of results very quickly and very easily. And those are going to be applying clefs and staff styles. And more specifically, we are going to create these using meta tools. So for those of you who don't know what meta tools are yet, here's a quick introduction. So we're going to go over to the clef tool real quickly. That's control R. And then we have C, I believe, for clef, C for clef. And we're in the clef tool. Now, if we were to double click, we have all these various clefs that we can enter. And at the top left hand corner, there is a keystroke. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, F, G, H, I, etc. And so when we are in the cleft tool and we highlight a region, we can actually just click that meta tool and it will automatically change the cleft to that cleft for the meta tool. So let's create this in Keyboard Maestro. So back in Keyboard Maestro, we're going to create this under Finale E Staff. Remember, it's when the hotkey Control E is pressed. Let's create a new macro and this will bring up the clefts palette. So we're going to call this clef and new trigger, hotkey trigger, and we're just going to use C, C for clef. And for the new action, we want this to be show macro group. And specifically, we actually want to show the palette for one action. Macro group is going to be clefs. Then under clefs, we're going to create the macros to change the clefs. So let's create the first one. We're going to click plus sign to add new. And we're going to call this uh, base clef. New trigger, hotkey trigger. I personally use D for base clef. You can choose something else like B for base clef if you so wish, but I use D. New action. And we're going to use this as a menu command. So, so we're select menu. And we're just going to select the tool. So finale, uh, tools. And then we're going to come down here to clef tool. Then we want to type a keystroke for the meta tool. So we're going to do a keystroke. And for base clef, I'll tell you the meta tool keystroke is four. And then finally, we just want to go back to the selection tool to make our life simpler. So I'm just going to duplicate the menu command, that's command D, drag it down below the keystroke, and then just change clef to selection. So now just so you see that in action, if we go over to finale, and we go to Control E to bring up the Finale Staff Palette, and then hit C for clef. We'll see that we can now have Base Clef. We just hit D, and it transforms it into a Base Clef. That's really cool. And so now let's just duplicate this and create macros for each of the other clefs. So we're going to duplicate it, Command D, and instead of Base Clef, let's do Treble. I can tell you for Treble, I use the keyboard shortcut F, Clef. And then all we have to change is instead of four for the keystroke, we're going to have one for the keystroke. Now let's duplicate it again. So instead of treble, let's type in alto. I personally use A for alto. And the keystroke is going to be two. And then lastly, duplicate it again. And this is going to be tenor clef. I use S for tenor clef. And the keystroke is going to be three. Of course, if you wanted to uh, use a macro for any of these other clefs. You just create the keystroke to be whatever the meta tool is in the upper left hand corner. That's cool. So now we can do control E and C. We have all these various clefs and then we can quickly change the clef as quickly as we want. So in full speed, it's like that. So now let's do the same thing with staff styles. It is going to be a very similar process. And first, let's quickly see how you find these meta tools. So control R to pull up the tool palette, E for staff styles. And we come over here to the staff tool and where it says apply staff style to, let's just click score and parts. So the meta tool for the staff styles is the letter in the parentheses right after the staff style. So for slash notation, it's S, rhythmic notation, R, 
blank notation, all layers is A, etc, etc, etc. So I'm going to quickly cancel that and just hit S because that was the meta tool for slash notation. And you can see now the music is slashed. And so let's replicate that in Keyboard Maestro. So back in Keyboard Maestro, we're going to come up here to Finale E Staff Back Group, and we're going to create a new macro that calls the Staff Palette. We could just duplicate the Clef macro and call this Staff Styles. And then I can tell you I use the hotkey S for Staff Styles. And the macro group, let's change that to Staff Styles. Then let's go to the Staff Styles macro group. It's Finale.StaffStyles and create a new macro. So the outline is going to be almost identical to what we just had, but let's just do it from scratch to jog our memories. So we're going to call this slash for this slash notation staff style. New trigger, hotkey trigger. I still use S for slash. New action. We're going to have a menu item. So let's get that in there. And it's going to be menu, finale, and then tools, and then staff tool. And then we're going to type a keystroke for the meta tool. And the keystroke for slash notation is S. And then finally, we want to go back to the selection tool. So let's duplicate the first thing. That's Command D. Drag it down below and change staff to selection. Cool. So that's creating meta tools for staff styles. Let's see it in action. So Control E to pull up the staff palette. S for the staff styles palette. And then let's hit an S to apply the slash notation staff style. Cool, works as expected. Now there are dozens of other staff styles and you can create more custom ones with your custom meta tools, but in an effort to keep the course moving, I think you get the idea of how to do this, so I'm gonna leave it there and let you take care of creating the other staff style macros yourself. Now I just wanted to back up and do a quick recap of everything you learned in this module because you learned a lot. In fact, you've learned pretty much like 90% of everything you will ever need to know in Keyboard Maestro. So you can create pretty much any macro for any action you want to take. And not only that, you have the logic and reasoning behind uh, the different ways you can actually incorporate Keyboard Maestro into Finale. So now you'll not only be able to create macros, but you'll know why you're creating the macros the way you are to make sure that they're efficient and also that they really get the job done. So now that you're comfortable with Keyboard Maestro, in the next module we're going to speed through creating dozens of more macros with another little trick that will make things even faster. I can't wait to show you, so I will see you in the next lesson.